Hello, class here, Wizard of Legend. Last part, we at least made it to the final boss. This part, I'm doing a dumb build. <laughs> uh, we're using a limited edition robe with the health reducing robe. Which also has the effects of um, increasing our run speed, decreasing our cooldowns, and increasing our damage. So we're at least like, getting something out of it, too. It's not pride, which is only drawbacks, and even more health reduction. Also, if we double its effects with the, um, the shiny... ...thing... It'd be nice if you hadn't, like, desynced from each other. <laughs> I realize that's my fault. Um, was I saying something? I feel like I had something to say about our build still. Lotus Frost Stone? I don't know what that does. Anyway, I don't think we're into any of those relics. Oh right, uh, yeah, if we make our outfit shiny, it does not double the health loss. It only doubles the other effects of the robe. Huh. I don't think I want to give up my only standard spell. I wasn't sure what they could do while invisible. Didn't know if they could cross the gap. Bye. Got stopped right over the pit. Thought I could sneak under all of them, but then they, uh, did attacks. Ah, I didn't quite get him in that poison. So we've certainly taken a lot of damage. I didn't want to attack with my basic into his mirror shield, but I think it would reflect it. Uh, I can certainly say I'm not confident this build will succeed. In fact, I'm pretty sure that if we do find the stuff we want to find, like max health reduction and things, we'll just like die to a multi-attack from the final boss. Of course, uh, right now, it seems like uh, even thinking about the words final boss together is a little ambitious. I wonder if I could have traded my Aegis Charge away, come back to the shop, and still bought the Enhanced Aegis Charge for 100. Anyway, increases durability damage, or durability something and speed. Damage and speed, yeah. We charge in better. Yeah, there are a lot of cursed items the run would appreciate. First on the list would probably be Spiked Medical Kit. We've seen Spiked Medical Kit and Limited Edition Rub together before. That's a lot of Chaos Knights.
Not gonna buy the potion. If the run dies, it dies. We'll start another. If it's like before the first boss, that is. That's what I meant. Spent a while reshaping that castle. I think if this run dies, I might try a more traditional run rather than limited edition rogue plus venture. I'd at some point like to make that combo work, at least make it to the final boss with it. With like some cool curses. Getting double toil and double trouble would be cool. Like double double toil and trouble, because that's the entire joke. Ooh. I know the main thought was that I was going to be dashing outward with it, but like, who doesn't like an enhanced spell? Throws an extra toxic bomb forward. I was checking whether it had any other effects than the second bomb, like if they had a larger radius. I don't have a lightning spell. Oh, wait! Oh, but I should have hit it with fire first! Oh, that reset the chest to hit it with the wrong thing. Oh, but there's no enemy nearby now. That's awkward. Is there a fire spell I can buy? I'm not fire. Lightning. Hmm. If I could get 175 gold and was willing to spend it on a non-enhanced lightning spell, there is one technically. Of course, it was a two-symbol chest, so it's probably not even that amazing as far as elemental requirement chests go. On that. Haven't even found the red portal though. Nice. Free health. This run is looking way better than it had been. Ack. Then I go and take 10 damage. Thought he was dying. Oh, curses. Broken Plague Flask. I don't know what that one does, but we want double toil. So we take double damage now, but we also take at most 30 damage because of limited edition robe. And we have half cooldowns. We can spam the Chaos Knights. Puffy Parka. What does that one do? Oh, Noxious Dapper Cap when we actually have poison? I think we'll try to buy that. Where are all the enemies? We still have two skulls lit. And a 100% map. That's weird. Did I, like, somehow explore a room without killing the enemies in it? Does the elemental chest count as, like, 50 enemies? I don't know. Maybe they, like, generated somehow outside the map. Anyway, spamming Chaos Knights sounds pretty good. Crit rate, and we got a lot of free health. We can get our poison going better. 
We, I acknowledge we could have bought the lightning spell, but I kind of don't want to. Even for that chest. Wait. This adds a chance to poison foes. I thought it was the one that synergized with poison, but that must have been the bottle. Oh well. I was mostly too far away. Oh! I went right into that. Yeah, I think the way to take advantage of our half cooldowns, though, is just tossing out the knights, even when the enemy's not vulnerable. Also, I realized the distinction between these knights and a true agent is that the knights don't have health. They can't take damage. So that might be why it didn't feel like the book enhanced them. Or I just don't have a feel for time, and the, the book actually does keep them around longer. One of those options. Oh, you can have two of those active at a time, just barely. Okay, yeah, he was 100% dead over there. Yeah, also the knights need a target or else they disappear. True agents do not seem to. Unless they actually time out. Ow! Hey, we're fine. Lots of health there. Alright, got him. The shield thing actually is pretty cool. Wind Flurry. Enhanced. And rest in peace our signature. Guess I could have taken the portal back. Oh, it's double trouble. We asked for this. Now we deal double and receive double. But our damage taken is still capped at 30. I don't know which of these we want. I don't even know what Charming Teddy Bear or Demi's Teapot do. Oh. Anyway, deviling double damage is pretty cool. Hmm. I could buy a thing. This is 2-1 though. Kinda curious about that teapot. But let's just go and see what we can find on the next floor.
think at this point, looking for armor or defense is probably fruitless. We are, in fact, taking quad damage. So basically, that means if we get caught in any sort of flurry of blows, we are dead. Because <laughs> they'll just all hit us for 30 and we'll end up taking, like, 200 damage or 210 or something. Didn't actually see where the last enemy was, but I figured my Chaos Servants could take care of it. I'm trying to be, like, a little cautious, although I am, like, extremely powerful. So that's fun. Water Sprite does a spread attack for 128. That's a reasonable amount of damage, right? It was a crit. Double-edged Cestus. That um, enhances your uh, basic arcana at the cost of lowering the damage of all your other arcana. Flashy boots. <laughs> Allows you to triple dash, but lowers movement speed. Okay. I thought they were different. That's still pretty cool, though. Oh, wow. All that fire damage. Do not get lit on fire, I will die. Enhanced basic. So now we're holding only enhanced spells. Ow! Just in time to die to those enemies! As we all know, the Shadow Men are the strongest enemy in the game. I feel like I'm gonna, like, accidentally dash into something. Raffle ticket. I think that gives you, like, a chance to f get free stuff. Mercury sandals would be some move speed. I probably need to buy the potion. We did make it to 2-2 without potion buying. I should have uh, actually just stayed in the relic shop and gone north. Got him. a shadow man. He did 30 damage, because of course he did. What other number are we going to take of damage in this run? <laughs> Alright. Uh, we melted the enemies. Okay. That's good. Hmm. Let's get whatever the teddy bear is. Has a chance to charm enemies when taking damage. Probably pit pretty weak on this run. If we had a more defensively strong run, perhaps one that, like, 
enabled us to take any hits at all. <laughs> we might like it a bit more. We can get out of the way of things. Noted. Oh, and we can get stuck in the corner because the enemy was ready to attack again. Oh, this is going to be awful. I saw she was low. Of course, I was too. Not the greatest fight. See, I guess if we can get one more curse, that's the achievement. The four curses. Oh no. I can't kill the ice shooters. What am I going to do with my awesome power to kill things? I guess I can indirectly kill the ice shooters by winning the fight. Oh yeah, what's this do? Oh, it's that spell! I like it. Oh! <laughs> and then we die here! Uh, I think if I- yeah, if I fall in a pit, it's game over. If I get hit at all, it's probably game over. Alright, found that room. Yeah, I just- I didn't want to try dashing to the thin platform that was there, because there was a very high chance that I would just mess it up and the run would be over. Wait, there's more in there? What are those things? I saw my sprite go in. I was like, what you doing? I need to buy another health potion. Unless I find the spike medical kit right around the corner. Right around- oh, that's an enemy. Uh, something got me. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, I don't- I think I'm gonna try this sort of run, like, just until it works. That was pretty fun. And, um... I mean, next time we'll hope to find Spiked Medical Kit, because that's the curse you're really looking for. That's my Ice Dagger. We've used it before, as an Enhanced. By Flare Rush. Maybe an Agent. And then, like, get some Relics. Alright, what do those relics do? Increased movement speed for every time an arcana is used. Speed is increased for each arcana on cooldown. I may not respect movement speed enough. Conqueror's Cloak. All mages and summoners have their spells limited. Only one conquer item can be in effect at a time. Interesting. If you really hate those two enemy types, I guess that's what you're into. What if I take Devi's Bug Spray and four poisoning spells? That's probably overboard. You can't double poison enemy as far as I know. See, I guess we'll no longer have the Chaos Knights with us. What relic do we want next time? I wish I had the one that, like, heals you every time you use a charged signature. Instead of producing the charged effect. I think that's a pretty cool one. Of course, maybe 
Maybe instead of banning vampires are eyeglasses as a starting item, we should ban all reliable healing items. Not that charging your signatures is actually particularly reliable. Oh, I like offense. Give Ancient Fountain Pen another chance? I don't have Surefire Rocket, where I would actually consider it. Um, yeah, let's go Captain's Ring. There we use our new basic, our new dash, our new standard, and a signature that matches none of those elements. So either wind or earth. Well, what do all these spells do? We have an agent. I like it. We have a dash. We have a thin melee attack. Strikes right in front of us. Let's see what... Earth is one of the ones we're missing. I do like these buzzsaws. We've won with them before, but it was with vampire glasses. No, actually... I don't think I want to use this basic. <laughs> it's just a little too thin. Now let's use like a water signature. Yeah, that seems pretty fun. <laughs> anyway, that'll be the build next time. See ya!